Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 taking a look at some more of the new vehicles that came with the Hot Wheels DLC. Starting with the Chevrolet Love. It is a small Chevy pickup truck. And originally. This one is mid-engined because where else would you put an engine in a pickup truck to make it as un usable as possible. Just as impractical as you could is put an engine back there. Uh, <laughs> it's a wacky, wacky thing. Uh, it's kind of cool though, kind of fun. And we're going to go racing. This is with the vehicle stop. Now apparently uh, it can wheelie quite easily. Hardly surprising if you put mid-engine like this. What is it? The, the Hemi, under, Hemi under glass? That was a mid-engine thing, wasn't it? If I remember correctly, that's why it wheelied so well. Um, but yeah, it's going to apparently wheelie, although for our racing it's unlikely to be uh, to that sort of spec. Uh, we have had a mediocre start, really, in all of this. We're sat in traffic a smidge. Oh, we're behind Blakey. We're going to help Team Orange. Uh, wrong game for Team Orange, but there was a little bit of help there. I would get past Longbow, who ran wide and just left a gap and got mugged. Of course, this is the thing with a one-make race. Uh, if you make a little mistake somewhere, you are going to you make a little mistake early on, you're going to get mugged by the field, uh, pretty much. We are to the inside of Danger Man. Oh, didn't want to go into the didn't want to go into the building. I'll be honest. Oh, I didn't really intend to go. I don't think Danger Man realised I was going to have a dive at the inside. Kind of shut the door a little bit, and I had to kind of fight back so I didn't end up in the building on the inside there. Uh, right, let's get it slowed down. Now these are quite... I quite like the way it drives, but there is a point where it suddenly becomes very snappy oversteer, like that, for example. Probably not helped by the engine position. I mean, that's, now it's unlikely to help, really, with this. This truck was not designed to be mid-engined. Uh, but yeah, it can kind of... You're going along, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden you get this big snap of oversteer uh, in the vehicle. We are catching this group, Ewan's in a lot of trouble and Ewan is about to be the one that gets mugged, loses three places from one oversteer moment. That's what we're talking about. That is that is what we're talking about there. One oversteer moment can be very costly. Clark might be about to lose two if I pull this off. Uh, indeed. Yeah, that's me up into a podium spot now. I chase the car across the circuit. Uh, all of us are out wide there. We're following Glisco. We're giving Glisco a little bit of the hurry up. Yeah. Oh! Me and Clark have both found a very solid bit of sticky out tyre bundle. <laughs> we were a bit too close to the back of this car and in the hurry to get out. God damn it, I'm really annoyed by that because I had some serious pace around this circuit and Clark has just absolutely followed me into that one. Uh, whoops, sorry, don't follow the car ahead. Danger Man's got street furniture. That's also just as bad. Uh, <laughs> Peg is trying to annoy all the Chevy fans. I saw the Ford stickers on that. That's quite funny. And... We have fallen, although Gliska and Ewan haven't exactly gone very far, so everyone's fallen over each other and Ollie's got a massive lead because we're all incompetent. And <laughs> mistakes are easy to make, of course, especially when you're fighting that much. Uh, I just got a little carried away with my power. Gliska's run wide and is about to feel the full effect of the mugging train, I think, there. Longbow didn't call them quite close enough to make the most of that. Uh, can we oh, try and do something here? Not. Why? I mean, we're close. We're in the fight. Very much in this absolutely ridiculous group of vehicles. Uh, now we're just going to get slowed down as you just get stuck. You run into the wall of metal, and three wide, two wide is already difficult enough around this circuit. Three wide is not going to work, guys. Uh, it's not going to. It's not going to work. But there's going to be problems. I'm going to thought. Let's take a normal line. And Longbow's found a building. <laughs> it's just this. Things are going to happen when you try to fit that many vehicles into the space. I was going to try to go for a cutback um, underneath, which didn't quite pan out, but at least we didn't lose too much time. We're a little bit further back than we would have liked, though. Uh, Ewan is going to jump the inside. I might join on that line. These things are quite understeering, but that's not surprising. Um, with the front being so eager to lift up, I'm not surprised that we get some understeer from it. Gleska is past Blakey, but might struggle to maintain it on the run up the hill. Still got another lap of this. Uh, you and almost had a dive at Impega through this corner. We get at to get a bit of the oversteer. Nothing too much, though, through there. Can we? I mean, if we snuck it onto the podium, that would be amazing, considering what occurred. We bounced off of a lamppost there. Gave us some grief. Ollie has completely checked out at the front. 
Uh, whether like fastest stats would be comparable, I have no idea. But we've fought each other so much. A seven, eight second gap in a one make race is almost unheard of for us lot in in this way. I think Impeccable dropped the back of the race. Ah, debris. No. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Uh, yeah, I think Impeccable dropped the back of the race uh, for I don't know an entertaining overtaking challenge, if you will, um, and has worked well up into second. Uh, I normally don't like that line across the inside, but with everyone fighting on the outside, I feel like that <laughs> was a very shrewd manoeuvre right there. And don't get this quarter wrong. This quarter is important. We have got it a little wrong. I just had to lift quite a long way up the hill there. Thankfully, everyone behind also ran into trouble through that. Oh, come on, Chevy. we got a couple more quarters to go. I need to be absolutely spot on through here if we're going to get a podium. Because uh, we've only got one more turn left to do it on. Ewan runs a little bit wide. Are we close enough to have a dive at the end of the straight? Of course, we're all in identical cars here. Gliska is in fifth. Am I close enough to have a look? No, not quite. Unless Ewan makes a mistake. Ewan does run a little bit wide. We're close, but it will not be close enough for us. We will basically push Ewan's car across the line. We needed another lap to get that podium, but that was... Uh, Ooh, hey, we got fastest lap just. We got fastest lap away from Ollie <laughs> by a tenth. <laughs> but I quite like them as well. I quite, I quite like them. Longbow was quick, uh, but was unfortunate with that hit on the building. Uh, had less time to recover than, than I did. Yeah, I kind of, I, I quite like. They kind of suit my driving style because they are sort of quite understeery, and I can sort of. I, say, I, I seem to be making them snap less than less than others. Yeah, okay, that was again. Very good fun race. We move to our next race with the Chevys being upgraded to A class. Now, for mine, that means we have about 100 more horsepower, but it's up to 500, and we have race tyres, and that was about it in terms of the in terms of the upgrades. Couldn't get a huge amount in A class, uh, but yeah, I figured I wanted the I wanted the grip. 500 horsepower is not bad, mount. For A class, the truck isn't particularly heavy. Okay, it doesn't have the best aerodynamics or anything, but uh, it should be okay. That's the hope here, at least. Whether that is how it's going to pan out or not, I have no idea. Uh, but we will give it as good a shot as we can and see what happens as we barrel towards turn one. I didn't mean to have it raining. I must have left it that by accident. Well, we're going to wet right. It's going to be quite... Uh, yeah, unfortunate inside these trucks. The interior is going to be a bit uh, soggy by the end of the race, but there we go. Uh, I don't think we're going to see anything roll over. I wouldn't think anybody's got a vehicle set in such a way. That is an awful corner by me. That was all manners of just terrible and wrong. I think Clark might put a wheel on the grass, though, and uh, lost the back end, lost a little bit of time. Again, it's likely to be a similar story with these in A-Class. Might even be more aggressive on the snappiness of them, if you like. Uh, We'll have to wait and see how it how it pans out. But yeah, if you have got race tyres and then they do suddenly just lose grip, then oh, we get a good run. But are we going to be able to go with it? That is the question. They're already three wide almost up ahead. Uh, we get to the... Oh, let's see, try to get to the inside. The engine man's has got more speed. Again, it was kind of free to build to A-class how you saw fit. If you wanted to sacrifice tyres uh, instead and go for power or something, you are more than welcome to. Not to get a crazy amount of room for upgrades in this in a class but still you could try a different uh, build i've gone for probably the more common build here of the put the race tires on and hope that that'll work and danger man is struggling for grip the rain won't help matters so much although uh, the, the weather yes it has an effect on the vehicles it's not as much as you think it is it's not as much as you think it would be oh that's a sketchy place to put the car <laughs> Just that one wheel on the grass, one wheel, two wheels, it just wants to wants to be unsettled. So he's going to take a big dive, but I don't think he'll be able to maintain that sort of momentum on such a tight line. And indeed, the red machine cannot. We will move up a position. Ewan is out wide. There's almost half a gap there to have a look for. Not quite. Longbow leads from Glisker and Pegas up in third place at the moment. We don't quite have the straight line speed of some of these other trucks. Which would, I hope, suggest that we have better handling. We are full attack on the kerb and the grass through turn one, but it's not a great idea. We find a way past you, and that will do the trick nicely there. We got a little bit of a twitch on the way past, but we have got past. I'm again getting caught out by the turning on this. It's got really, really 
good turn, a way better turn than I expect. And I'm just finding I'm coming to a corner and I'm turning in too soon. I'm expecting it to understeer a little bit more than it does, but the front end is very darty, I think, is the word that I'm going to use to describe, which is weird to describe this kind of vehicle, but yeah, the front end is. Oh, and that does not uh, always make it so easy with that twitchiness and that snappiness uh, because the front end is so keen to change direction the back end you're never quite sure what it's going to do at any given moment uh, we've worked our way through the traffic map pulled a gap you and busy fighting with speed beast now back there can we i mean could we score a podium it's gonna be difficult uh, one to achieve oh blakey was up onto two wheels and blakey is in the fence and that is uh, blakey in trouble through the first corner easy Easy, easy mistake to make around this track. I've done it myself plenty of times. Yeah, you just get a little bit too wide and you brush that fence and for some reason that is one of the toughest fences in the game. It will kill every bit of momentum that you have. Uh, so, yeah, that is, that is unlucky. Can we do anything about catching the vehicles ahead? I fear it's just going to be that gap a little bit too much unless I really, really start fighting one another. Or unless I have an absolutely mega final lap. Not impossible of course, but this is me we're talking about. Push that one way too hard. <laughs> the thing is, one of those, like, I know I have to be literally on the limit if we're going to stand a chance there. And I don't know where it is, so we just, we stepped a little bit too far over it there. Well, we've got one lap to try and go as quick as possible. Oh, that goes on to our side. Yeah, we had some pace in this, just took too long getting through the traffic and then kind of ran out of laps to do anything about getting getting further up. Uh, yeah, it, it's an interesting one to drive this. It's an interesting one to drive. Most definitely an incredibly, an incredibly darty front end and then every so often just back end is, nope, bad enough, we're not going to behave ourselves at all. Oh, Ollie missed a checkpoint. <laughs> Well, that will promote me to a fourth place. I'll take it. Uh, we have not got the pace of Longboat or Gliska. Admittedly, this was not a good lap by me regardless, but we don't have their pace around this circuit. Ah, that's another fault. I've been managing to miss out on podiums quite well with these Hot Wheels cars so far. But yeah, it's cool. Uh, it is easy. I mean, my build is not quite there for, for the A-Class, but it doesn't, seem like it doesn't seem bad to drive at all. Got some slightly quirky handling characteristics. Jeez, Longbow's was quick. Me and Impega were more similarly matched, along with Ollie. Yeah, the the very the low 59s. Uh, but yeah, 58.5 and then 58.1. Not quite there. Not quite there with the pace with uh, with my vehicle. So up next we have got the well, this is the Ford Dually. It is. A, wacky contraption as all of these have uh, have been uh, like on, on paper the power numbers and everything sound good I mean it's some near 700 torque it's about 450 horsepower I think from standard I mean it's a diesel and it's quite a lazy diesel I mean it's expected but yeah it's it's quite a lazy diesel we'll be curious to see how this one pans out it comes to the festival circuit a track that don't race all that often it is a Oh god, remember it's a bloody diesel, you've got to shift a lot sooner with this. Uh, you don't have to take it all that often, it is quite a small track, and vehicles like this can have some trouble, although I don't know whether we're going to have trouble as such with this. It might be a bit more difficult to overtake, uh, for sure these are not the smallest of vehicles. Uh, they're also not crazy fast, it's quite heavy at 4,000 and a bit pounds, I can't remember the exact number now, it's just slipped my mind. I read it before we went racing and now it's just gone. For God's sake, uh, we're out wide there, and that's going to be our undoing. The whole the train of mugging is about to go past us if we aren't careful. Uh, oh, that's a bad place to come out of ghost mode. I'm so busy trying to deal with the ghost mode, I've got to do, do my gears. Uh, Danger Man is going to have a run. Oh, remember how wide the back of the vehicle is? That is an important, important thing to remember. Oh, we're going to get. I mean, we're going wide anyway. We're going to get stuck out wide. But we're going to get forced out even wider than I wanted to be. Through there, this one has uh, oh, let's say it's fallen apart a smidge. There was a little bit of contact. Oh, Ollie missed a checkpoint in all of that. He got just too many, too many Fords in one place. We need to now no more mistakes. We can try and have a sneak at the inside of Clark here to get our 
seventh position back, which we have made stick. In Pega Leeds, it's not that much though. <laughs> That's the lead group here, I think. This is the lead group and back. That is ridiculous. We're going to have eight cars covered by one and a half seconds. You don't see that in Formula One. You don't see that in BTCC, and I love the <laughs> touring cars are great, but it's, uh, you don't see that many vehicles covered by. I mean, it's literally one mistake and three cars are going to go past you. Blakey didn't even really make a mistake. Blakey just went to take a slightly different line through there, and I saw my opportunity and I went for it. Uh, you just you can't take an alternate line. You go to attack the car ahead, and the car behind is going to have half a chance of uh, making something stick. We are three wide on one of the narrower circuits, more technical circuits on the game. Danger Man might be about to lose out on that one. Uh, tried to pass on Gliska, didn't work, and me on the outside did get that to work. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, Longbow leads. Uh, Gliska is second. Sorry, I've been on in Peck. I got my names confused. There are two bluey turquoisey coloured cars that look very, very similar uh, when you're in the midst of battle here. Uh, oh, God. Pega's stuck on the outside there. We get a really good run, but I've got nowhere to go. With any speed I have, I've just got nowhere to go with it at the moment. Uh, we're just sort of stuck in this little fight watching. Danger Man's missed the checkpoint this time around. These, I mean, they're not bad to drive. They're quite un they're quite sluggish. They're quite understeery and, and sluggish. They're not awful to drive. They've got a lot of traction. There's no doubt about that. I'm not spinning the wheels out of these corners. But they are very, very heavy. They feel it as well. Uh, they, they do feel heavy. Oh, got vehicles catching. We're just stuck in this fight now that we don't really want to be in. Uh, we may be able to sneak. Well, see, we, we sneak past initially, but this go out wide is going to get a better exit. And now we're just going to be stuck two by two. Speed Beast is slow off the corner, and that's going to give me grief, guys. I don't know where you're going to go through there. There's not a huge amount of space for a vehicle to be fitting alongside. We might get Speed Beast here with a good exit. I think we do. That will do very nicely, thank you. And we're back to fourth, our favourite position, just off the pony. <laughs> Come on, we've got a couple of laps. We can make something happen here. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, can we pull clear of the vehicles behind? We don't really want to be fighting with vehicles behind as well. We want to focus all our attention on overtaking cars ahead and not to worry about defending. Uh, always preferable if you can manage that. Oh, slightly funky line all the way through there. We get away with it, though. We are not under any immediate danger from the vehicle behind. Come on. This nicely does it through there. Let's go out a little bit wide. And Pega is just checking out in second a smidge. Going to chase after Longbow. I mean, it's all, it's all very close. Only a couple of seconds uh, separate us a lot. It's not quite as close as it was with the eight cars, but still not bad. Can't quite be flat through there. Don't tell me we're going to have another race where we sit in fourth, staring at the back of the car in front and just don't quite have... I think it is, you know. Just don't quite have time to do anything about it. Let's just try to use the banking a little bit through there uh, to make some lap speed. Don't know if it made all that much difference. We're just not going to be close enough, are we? Barring a mistake. Oh, everyone is just even enough. Yeah, we gain a little bit through there. And Pegasus kicking up the dust. I'll be kicking up the dust myself that time around. Uh, oh, we have a good... Oh, it's like a tighter line through there, actually. We're a little bit quicker on one part, but this has got a better exit than me, regardless. And there we go. Yeah, we have to steer around the final corner. Ah, <sighs> couldn't do anything. We just sat in fourth again. We sat in fourth and watched. 42.3 for me. Not as quick as uh, Longwell or Impega at a 41.4 in all of that. 41.4 for Ollie as well before, unfortunately, missing that checkpoint. Ah, oh, damn. Again, manic race, that one. Absolutely manic race. Good battles at the start. We managed to fit a lot of trucks in a small place, but uh, I just can't, just can't get them podiums. So I'd, I'd just like to point out, while we're in between races, everyone's just changing the tunes installed on their vehicle. I loaded into the world, as you do, and went to pull forward. And for some reason, my brakes were left behind. <laughs> Why are my brakes there? What has gone on to cause that? Not seen that before. Um, do we actually have? No, we still do have brakes. <laughs> uh, I try to see. Visually, are they? No, the brakes are visually gone on the truck. That's really weird. I don't know why I did it then and not 
any of the other times that uh, I have pulled away with this. It's just left them. Well, that's curious. So, we have upgraded the Fords to the top of B-Class. Admittedly, not a crazy amount that you can do to the to the vehicles here. Uh, we are starting to fourth. Can we not... We just want to finish not fourth. Preferably podium, rather than going backwards at this, at this stage. Uh, we'll see what, see what we can do, really, around here. It's not crazy things you can do uh, with the Juno. We'll say the... The turbo upgrade for this, being a diesel, can get quite crazy. About 350 horsepower is added to the turbo. I could not get that on. <laughs> Keep the car in B class. You can get mountains and mountains of torque, of course you can, uh, all with the engine in this. So it's a funky engine. It's something a little bit different. Uh, I already can sense this is probably not going to be my go to B class car. I think it's just too heavy. It's too heavy and the power doesn't make up for it. When in a one make race against itself, well, you can have some fun. Oh, that's a lot of understeer from my vehicle. Oh, God, that's a, that's a huge amount of understeer through there. And we're not Ford anymore. <laughs> Doing the going backwards part. I guess, theoretically, these should also be fairly good with slipstream. They should get a decent... A decent tow. They're not very aerodynamic, uh, but they're not as tall as like the Harvester. Uh, this group is going to get very busy very quickly, uh, I suspect. Oh, he's got some real speed with that thing, though. That's already been fighting with the lead three. Oh, Clark is a little too far on the inside. We're going to get a great run out of the hairpin there. They're all busy fighting one another. We can get a really nice, a nice run, really nice exit. It is two by two towards the first corner here. I am not quite close enough to get involved here. And even if I do, where do I go? They're already in two solid, it's the solid lines of metal ahead. Ollie's desperately looking for somewhere to make it three wide. You're just not going to be able to find any space there. We've caught up, and if we fight like this for much longer, Longbow will catch us, as will Danger Man, I suspect. Three wide, you're going to be losing lap time. Uh, Gliska may enjoy running away at the front a little bit if they fight too much back there. We were slow on the way in. I'm hoping, though, this can give us a fast exit, perhaps, onto this long straight. Here comes Longbow with some speed back there. Uh, we need to get past these vehicles here. Uh, with a good run onto the straight, that might help. But where do we where do we get past? Can we duck to the inside here? Well, yeah, but we're not going to be very far alongside. I don't think Impega really knew we were going to be there. Uh, it is side by side for us. Oh, but there's the long way round at the hairpin. We've seen... Can I? No, I want. I really wanted to. I really wanted to dive back down, but there's going to be a longbow in the way. It was a solid idea, and it might have worked had longbow not been there to capitalise. I'd hoped I was far enough away, but nope, uh, not quite. Oh, don't catch the rear wheel on the outside wall, Christ! That's not what we want. Ollie's up to second. Ah, just falling back a smidge. I feel like we've got fairly good vehicle. It might just be lacking a little bit something somewhere. It might just be I've been in the wrong place. Impegas does seem to be struggling actually around here. Impegas car does not seem to have all that much pace. Uh, it's just proving difficult to overtake. We might actually be able to get Longbow here as we get underneath for the run onto the back straight. That'll do nicely. Uh, Longbow might come under threat from Danger Man if are not careful depending on how good the runs were onto this, onto this section. Okay. Gliska is going to have to start defending. Now, that might bring everybody close together once again if the lead pair start really slowing each other down. Uh, we've got four through there. Oh, that's about the limit of what I could get away with in my <laughs> in my truck there. This time, we're not going to leave that big gap for somebody to uh, fire their vehicle into. Much more sensible. Uh, Lombard gets a good run off that hairpin. We really need to like, get past him, Pega, about now. Now would be good to find our way past Impega. Impega's going to cover an inside. Oh, Longbow went for it. I didn't think Longbow was going to have the, the brakes. I should have I should have defended, perhaps, there. Oh, damn it. Yeah, not the best decision-making ever. I just feel we'd be more likely to all stay the line through that section, but apparently not. Does Longbow want to have a go at the inside? Yep but it's not quite going to work. Both me and Longbow are faster than Impega, but we can't quite set it up at the right time. And as soon as we go for that pass, if we don't get it perfect, the other, we should get sort of repassed by the other. Impega's going to have problems by the end of this straight, I think. 
Uh, I might have problems. Oh, uh, no, not quite going to be room. Longbow has got through. Although Longbow is actually quite slow through this corner. Ollie's has got crazy speed up at the front. That's a crazy speed. Has definitely got the most pace in that. Mine just stopped turning all of a sudden. I thought my controller had broken then. Did the st analog stick get stuck? I don't know, like it was out of turning radius, then all of a sudden it just abandoned any thought of steering. That's really weird. Um, oh, we had a help into turn one. You see, I like to break... I think that might also be the slight problem for me there, is the way I want to take turn one, uh, I tend to break a little early, perhaps, than some other vehicles, because I want to sort of focus more on the exit, and I wonder if that might also be... Like, lap time-wise, it'll work, I feel, but when other cars are around, somebody can be sneaky and have a dive, and I think that's what's actually getting me into trouble more than anything through there. Yeah, that issue coming out of the sort of hairpin last lap around has probably cost me any chance at fifth. We're not going to be fourth, but we are going to be worse. Uh, here comes Danger Man to the outside. It's going to be a brave manoeuvre if you're going to try and uh, sneak it all the way past here. That's a long way round. Uh, Danger Man's not going to be close enough. I have to defend a little bit though and that's going to put me out wide on the exit but can you go around the outside? They're not identical vehicles but they are quite close to being identical and I think you're going to struggle going the long way around there and indeed Danger Man can't do it. Been a, been a decent race this. It's been a decent race for us. A little bit unlucky. A little bit of weird shenanigans from my controller. I don't know if there's something with the analog stick there. Just, just at the wrong time. 110-0. I mean, lap time-wise, within half a second of Gliska. Uh, Longbow's was a little bit quicker. Ollie's was kind of in a field of its own. Uh, it's, it's a field of own. It was a smidge faster than the rest of us. Uh, yeah, that. I mean, it's, it's a cool vehicle. I love these kind of customs. I love these kind of in incredibly crazy custom vehicles. They're great. That being said, that one is a bit too heavy. It's just a bit sluggish. Um, I'm not sure how you'd make it work. Probably, well, I don't think you'd really make it work in B-Class particularly. Maybe higher classes with a lot of power, but it feels like it might be a bit too heavy regardless. Uh, the tyres, though, do at least give it some traction. It's not sliding around, that's for sure. Uh, but there we go. Let's look at some of the Hot Wheels cars. They're good fun. Uh, they are... Oh, dear. That's a terrible thing. Get rid of that. Don't want another dingo bug. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're good for a bit of fun. We've had some really good racing with them. So that is, that is always nice. That shall be it for this video though thank you all very much for watching and until next time a uh, goodbye